All right, you guys have been waiting long enough. I've been keeping this a secret for a long time. So without further ado, check out brand new whip. All right, just kidding. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. Today's kind of exciting because as you can tell by the title of this video, picking up a new car. But first, yesterday's video I told you I'd show you something, which is in the garage. Check this thing out. It's not mine, it's Frank's. <laughs> a new toy. 61 Willys pickup truck. Right here where this sits a couple weeks ago was, uh, what is it, a 71? 78 CJ5, which I showed you guys in a video, the 100K video. That's now sitting outside because this thing's a lot cooler and I think it takes priority. You got some chrome tips on there. Extra parts, hoods, fenders. Videos from here on out can be cool for people who are into cars if that's some stuff that you want to see. You ready? Nice hoodie. Nice. We're headed down to the dealer now, or I should say a dealer because you guys really don't know what I'm picking up right now. In a Sunday gun day like two weeks ago, I said that something was changing with my cars and people who are into cars, you're gonna get more automotive related videos in the next couple of weeks and that's gonna start as of today. I don't know how many, I don't know what exactly it's gonna be on, but I'm going to pick up a new car. It's not modifications to my STI. Everyone was thinking that I was gonna go stage two, which I might in the future, but I don't have any plans to do that now. My STI was like my first realistic dream car. Growing up, I've always wanted one. I was driving a WRX for a while. I have that car now, and I don't ever wanna get rid of it. So I've been putting a lot of miles on it, driving back and forth between my apartment and back here in Pennsylvania where I'm at now. So I wanted to pick up something else that I could not have to worry about the STI so much. So that's gonna be staying in the garage for now. There's a bunch of hints that I can give you guys so you can kind of guess what I'm getting before I pick it up. I'll show it to you eventually in this video, obviously. But what are some hints that you would give them? The other spectrum of what you got now. It is on the other spectrum of what I have now. It's uh, bigger, but it gets way better gas mileage. It's more suited to my lifestyle, which is one of the reasons why I'm picking it up and buying it in the first place because my STI is always loaded with stuff in the trunk and I'm just driving so much. So this is gonna be more suited to the things that I like to do. It's slower, <laughs> it's definitely slower than the STI. I can't think of anything else without giving it away. I know what a lot of people are guessing right now because you were guessing it in the comments on that last video, but it's not a Tacoma, you'll see in a little bit. So if you didn't guess by now, I'm buying a Subaru. Obviously we're at the Subaru dealer because I'm friends with Bernie, general manager here. We're at Steve Moyer Subaru. He's actually related to Rhodes. So a lot of you guys know Rhodes. You love Rhodes or you hate him, but you guys are- I love him, bike choice. Yeah. Not only did I get the car, but Bernie hooked me up with a ton of stuff. Jackets, hats, STI stuff. What is this thing? Got everything. I'll give you a more detailed rundown of the car later. Stack of cups for your Jaeger. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, man. Congratulations on your new car. You know, if you need anything, let me know. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, we'll it. see you around, man. 
All right, back at home already, and you guys are taking a first look at my brand new 2018 Crosstrek. Like I said, I'm definitely still keeping my STI. I've wanted that car for the longest time, but instead of me driving that all the time, racking up the miles, it's gonna be sitting in the garage over here, and this is gonna be my full-time driver. For me personally, the way I live my life, the things that I do, the hobbies that I'm interested in, this combination of cars right here is perfect. I've got my 15 STI Limited for a fun car on the weekends. It's got the nice leather seats, the moonroof, pretty much everything that you could possibly order on an STI for that year. This car has it. And then when ordering this Crosstrek, I dialed it back a little bit. I didn't need leather seats. I don't need a sunroof. I don't need all the bells and whistles. However, this thing did come with their protection package, so I'll go over some of those things. For starters, this is their premium package, so it comes with the fog lights, a little bit updated interior, leather wrap, steering wheel, things like that. It's got Android Auto, which is updating right now. I've never really used that before, but if it's updated, I can show you how that works. On the outside of the car, for what Subaru calls their protection package, it's got the body side molding, it's got the three 3M bumper applicator in the rear. Splash guards on there behind the wheels, which I'm probably gonna replace for some rally armor like I have on my STI. Other than that, the car is pretty basic and simple, which is kind of the reason why I liked it in the first place. I'll show you guys the interior now because for a premium package, I think it's pretty damn nice. So like I said, no leather on this, but it does come with this really nice cloth black interior. The premium package comes with this orange stitching, makes it kind of pop a little bit. Another part of their protection package is the all weather mats. Definitely a plus because I'm gonna be taking this thing in places that I would never take my STI, so I don't have to worry about messing up the carpets in here. The trim in here is actually really nice too. It's this carbon fiber. As you guys probably know, I really like carbon fiber, so it does look really nice. Pretty decent sized head unit. Like I said, I'm updating for Android Auto right now, so hopefully that finishes soon. Down here for the premium, we also have heated seats, X mode, which I will try in some future videos once I get this thing off-road a little bit. In the limited up here, these are LCD screens with like car information. I don't really need that, but for now this just shows me my time, the temperature, and I'm not actually sure what else that shows yet. I've only had the car for like 10 minutes. Like I said, leather wrap steering wheel with the orange stitching to match. The seats have some pretty nice bolsters. Compared to my STI, this thing is already super, super comfortable. I don't have to worry about shifting. It's got the CVT transmission. I can explain more about that later, but basically it makes the car really fuel efficient. I believe this gets about 30 miles per gallon. Really comfortable to drive. My STI out there is obviously really low. It's lowered on coilovers, but this is just a whole different ball game. There is a lot of space in this car. The visibility is really good when you're driving. I'm about a little under six foot. Plenty of headroom here. I got plenty of leg room. Imagine if you had this much leg room on an airplane, it'd be like hitting the lottery. So as you can see, that seat is pretty far back. However, in the back seat here, still got plenty of room. Sitting in here, no issues at all. Again, if this was an airplane seat, still like hitting the lottery. You got a ton of room, you can almost stretch out a little bit. You can get a better view of the stitching on these seats here. Again, with the carbon fiber accents, I'm really a big fan of that. Now moving on to the back of the car. One of the only options that I added outside of the protection package was actually this STI spoiler here, because race car, race car one, race car two, except this thing is kind of slow. That's one thing that I see about these cars. A lot of people complain about how slow they are. They're like, oh, the acceleration is terrible, this and that. But you know what you're buying when you go into getting a car like this. Yeah, it's not the fastest car in the world. The acceleration gets you up to speed just fine. I don't have any complaints about it, but I know a ton of people say that it is underpowered. Could it have a little more power? Yeah. Would it be cool to see it turbocharged? Definitely. But it is what it is. I bought this car for its utility, not to go fast, and if I want to go fast, I still got the STI. So my friend Bernie hooked it up with all the Subaru Ambassador type of gear. Got a pretty sweet Subaru jacket, microfiber wash kit to keep this thing clean. Chances are this is gonna get way dirtier than I ever let my STI get. Blankets, also I have one of these in my car. Another blanket, Subaru Rally Team, Rally Car. Got a nice cup, basically like a Yeti, keep your drinks cool. Branded with Steve Moyer. If anyone out there is in the market for a new car, used car, especially if it's a Subaru, I would definitely recommend checking them out. I bought my STI there, a bunch of my friends have bought cars from them. And I know the whole buying a car process isn't the most fun thing in the world, you kind of feel like you're getting screwed over here and there, but Bernie is super friendly, he's a really good guy. Everyone that I've dealt with there, Andy and JC, they've all treated me fairly, and as long as you know what you're doing when you're going in to buy a new car, things go pretty smoothly. Got stacks of cups. Uh, gonna be drinking some Jägermeister out of these for sure. 
thanks for that. A High Sierra Camel Pack, that's pretty sweet too, branded with Subaru. As you can tell, a lot of stuff for the outdoor adventure -y type of people, which I kind of consider myself that. Subaru Garage, home to the boxer engine. Here in my garage. Here in my garage. Hats, tons of hats, STI hat, Subaru hat. I have so many damn hats. And whatever this thing is, that's actually pretty convenient. It's like a little microfiber brush thing. All of that stuff packed into this cooler. Yeah, that's awesome. Bernie, thanks so much for hooking me up with all the gear. I've got enough Subaru stuff here to last me until I buy my next one, I guess. Also back here, I have the regular cloth floor mats, the cargo net, a little shade to cover up the back here so no one can see in whatever you have back here. This thing actually pops out. I haven't done this yet, so let's see how easy it is. Pretty damn easy. There's actually a place to store this right under here where the spare tire is. And then both the floor of the trunk and the backs of these seats are lined with the same all-weather mats, so I can throw guns in here and my targets, my skis, anything that's wet. I don't really have to worry about ruining the cloth of the interior. Definitely a plus, there's a lot of room here. On the older models of the Crosstrex, there was like a little bit of a bulge here because they redesigned the rear end. The taillights are a little bit different, so it basically opens up this whole area. Throwing stuff in and getting stuff out of here is gonna be really easy. You should see the trunk on my STI. It's packed with like hats and pop sockets and camera gear. This thing is gonna hold everything Thing that I need, it's gonna be super easy to use. Definitely a fan of the whole utility of this car. I think if I even push the seats all the way forward, there's enough room for like a twin size air mattress in here. That could make car camping really convenient. I don't get to camp as much as I used to. However, now that I got some new wheels that can take me places that my STI couldn't, while getting better gas mileage, I'm probably gonna be more inclined to do road trips and explore different places that I normally wouldn't. That's a whole hippie Subaru vibe type of thing. I know it's kind of cliche, but it is what it is. The Android Auto is now installed on my phone and everything's updated. It also comes with Apple CarPlay, so instead of having like a traditional navigation unit that you have to update all the time, it just pulls information directly from your phone. My smartphone, the Nexus 6P, is currently connected via USB right underneath the center console. So what Android Auto allows you to do is you open up the app, now I have all the information that's on my phone directly here on the head unit. On the left here you have your navigation. I can use either Google Maps or Waze. It gives you your typical Google Now cards here if you have any notifications, a recent call, the weather of wherever you are, directions to different places. Go right into the music. I can use Spotify, I can use Pandora, I can use Google Music. All really convenient right here. It even shows the album art in the background which is pretty nice. If I go into the phone, I can make calls directly from here. All I have to do is use the Google commands and I can call and text directly from here. So for example, okay Google, text JF, what up homie? Here's your text to JF, what up homie? Do you want to send it or change it? You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. Okay, message sent. Pretty simple. The center button here just takes you back home, back to all your cards. I'm pretty sure you can dismiss stuff right off of here. Yeah, real simple. So that's it for the overview on my new car. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I'm not sure how well I'm gonna be able to answer all of those questions because the car is brand new. However, over the next couple of weeks and months, you guys are definitely gonna be seeing more of this car. Gonna do a couple things to it, make it a little more suited to what I'm gonna be using it for, things like that. Again, thanks to Bernie and everyone else down at Steve Moyer. I appreciate you for hooking me up with all that gear. Chances are I won't need a new car for the next like 10, 15, 20 years, but if I do and you guys are still there, you definitely have my business. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more car cross track automobile related things feel free to slap a like on it also if you're new to this channel consider clicking subscribe I make new videos every week and that's gonna be it for today as always thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one